What up, y'all? It's your man, Op American. Now, I wanted to drop a video yesterday. There'll be an automatic scheduled upload today at 10 a.m. But consider this one for yesterday, so today will be a video double header. Um, so I was tagged in a tweet and asked my opinion about a situation. And the situation was, ooh, go baby, go. Was there was two cases where a women had given birth. And one, the wife had given birth, come home, and the husband asked her why she had not cooked. In the second case, a woman had come home, and then she was made to strip naked, and her husband pointed out, that's the windshield wipers guy, sorry. The, um, she, was, she was made to strip naked and the husband pointed out to her all the places where she had gained weight. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't even know why I, should, uh, I have to comment on this. I mean, I mean, not that I have to, but that, you know, why there would be any sort of confusion about this type of stuff right here. Let's deal with the weight issue first. Now, everything I'm about to say, there's no excuse for a woman to keep on weight after she's given birth. And when I say keep on after giving birth, I'm talking about like a year later. Six months, you can give her a pass. A year, she has enough time to like, you know, get her body back to where it should be, you know, in terms of like, you know, healing, recovery. Because you gotta remember, she carried a kid for like nine months. So expecting her to like have like an instantaneous recovery in like a month, a recovery in a month or two is a bit crazy. But basic biology that we learn in school teaches us that a woman's body during the entire pregnancy cycle, nine months, it goes through a massive, a massive hormonal and physical change. So she's literally producing an entire another, an entire human being with her body. So it's obvious that her body is going through significant changes and that, you know, she's going to have a different metabolism. She's going to have different hormonal levels. All of these things are going to have a, a different effect on every woman. Obviously, some women with a higher metabolism, maybe a younger woman, obviously, she's going to process having a baby easier than the older woman because as we know, both men and women, they have higher metabolisms at a younger age. The body is simply better designed for reproduction at a, at a younger age. This is just a simple fact. This is, you know, this is an unarguable fact that nobody can deny. It's science. You can deny it, actually, but that doesn't mean you're clever or woke. So, one should not expect that a woman has a child and that she's going to be in the same condition prior to having the child like the moment she comes home. I would say, personally, after six months, she's had time to recover, her body's had time to recover, come back to a normal, you know, it's normal homeostasis in terms of like its function and, you know, readjusting. And that's like, ideally, that's like if she's a really young girl, 18 to say 23, and uh, she's taking care of herself, she's eating well, she's been a, a woman who's like, you know, constantly, you know, looked after her health and, you know, just doesn't eat trash and whatever else. I would say early as six months, have the expectation that her body is back to a normal position and state. That said, now I would have the expectation that she puts in work towards getting her body back to where it was, if it's not already there, because I've seen women, they've had kids, and it, you can't tell. I mean, two days later, you're like, wow, did this lady have, just, she, did she just squeeze a kid out of her? It's like, wow, okay. Like, mashallah. You got those women out there. So... Is that reasonable? No. That's just like, that's just a guy who is emotionally unhealthy. I mean, he's just lacking any and all sorts of empathy. You know, he doesn't like his woman, obviously. Uh, I combine that with that. And now he's just found a way to really just jump right on her, you know, and make her feel bad about herself. You know, and, the, and so, and again, female hormones aren't normal after birth. So what if she's having postpartum distress or whatever you call it, stress? You know, because some of these women do. They get highly emotional after birth because their emotions are all over the place because their hormones are all over the place. She has a kid and she gets, like, that that hormonal depression. 
now you want to jump on it with this. Dude, I don't know. I don't even know why I should have to comment on this. I mean, that's just freaking nuts. Then there was the one with the guy asked his wife why she didn't cook the day after she got home from the hospital and having a kid. Well, I mean, basically everything I said before applies now. I mean, the woman just squeezed the whole kid out of her hoo What you, I mean, it, no, she's not an invalid, but dang. Like, you know, now's your time to be, it's your time to adult now. Take care of yourself for a while, man. You know, do, you can do it. Right now, she and her primary responsibility, if it's her first child, especially if it's her first child, is to figure out how to take care of her child properly. This stuff is, she has a natural and biological ingrained desire and like set programming to take care of the child. But we're still like, you know, highly intelligent beings. She's gonna overthink things, underthink things. She's gonna be all over the place trying to figure it out, you know, overreacting. Give her that time to figure it out, especially if it's her first kid. She has a second, third kid, whatever else. She's gonna, you know, having a kid should be on autopilot after that. But that doesn't mean that she doesn't need the time to actually take care of the child. It's a, it's a newborn. The frick are you doing? Now, and then to top it off, she's physically recovering from like birth. Dude, take care of yourself. Shoot, dude, you know what? Abu American's gonna say, take care of her. You know what? If you can't cook, order some dang food out, bro. You should be in that position anyway. If your woman's having kids, you could order out food for a month. I don't, I don't care. I'm not saying that's what you wanna do for like ever, but man, give that woman a break. She just had your kid. Oh, if it's not your kid, then fine. Jump on her about her weight. Jump on her about, you know, the food or whatever else. If it's not your kid and you like, nigga, I know that ain't my kid. <laughs> Jump on her with all that with a divorce. <laughs> but otherwise, what are you doing? What are you doing? My niggas, take care of yourself. Let her take care of that kid. Let her figure it out. Give her a minimum. A minimum of like a month. I'd say two months and it's like, yo, look, man, you gotta figure this out. Because if we was in the wild and I was out hunting, you know, where would I be? I'd be gone for weeks at a time. You, you gotta take care of yourself. Of course we're not in those times. These aren't those women and they're not rough and rugged and tough like that. So, you know, give them that break. But if this is your woman you, you, you claim to care for her and you claim to love her, you know, take care of her. You know, don't let her abuse it. Because at, at, at the same time, a newborn, what does a newborn do? A newborn, they just sleep a whole freaking lot. All they do is eat, aka drink milk, poop, and sleep. That's that's all they do in a cycle. Eat, poop, then go back to sleep. Eat, poop, go back to sleep. So, I mean, she's going to have a lot of free time on her hands. But then we come back to the initial point that she is in recovery. So, and no, it's not like, you know, a tiger bite or something. Obviously, she's built for, you know, having kids, but still, try to have a little empathy, guys. Jeez, what the heck are we talking about here? It's just madness. <laughs> Insane stuff that people ask me. Anyway, this is your man, Album American. I hope that answers your question, and uh, yeah, I'm out.